Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Alana. Welcome to my home in New Jersey. I can't wait to show you around. Come on in. Hi, I'm Allison Kenworthy, the founder of Homeworthy, and we're now offering a membership plan that gives our supporters early and exclusive access to new videos. Hi, Homeworthy. I'm Roz. You're here at my home in Los Angeles? Come on in, I can't wait to show you around. With this membership, we invite you to open more doors, discovering new homes, rooms, and personalities available only to those with the keys to our guest house. You'll be part of a community of people who are just as passionate as you are about interior design. Before today's episode, click the join button below to support all of the storytelling we do on this channel. Our growing community of members help to directly fund more videos so we can capture these extraordinary homes from around the world. So join today to receive early and exclusive access to new Homeworthy videos. You're watching Homeworthy, where we believe every home has a story. Hi, my name is Alana Oates, and we are at my home in Haddon Heights, New Jersey. This house was built in 1912, and my husband and I have been here almost 10 years. Uh, we bought the house together before we were married. I had already fallen in love with the Zillow listing before we even saw the house. Um, it definitely needed our touch, but we saw the potential even just from the Zillow photos. So we had already really fallen in love with it. We hadn't been considering this exact neighborhood, but we had been looking in the surrounding neighborhoods. And once we saw this, we just knew it was it. It's an Edwardian bungalow. We have a big, beautiful front porch, and the living room that we're sitting in right now is definitely the focal point with a big original fireplace. So this is our living room. We don't have a formal entryway. You just walk right into our front door, into our living room. And um, we really wanted this space to feel very cozy. One of our favorite things about the house is the fireplace. So we just wanted everyone to be able to kind of gather in front of the fireplace um, on the big sofa and on these two cozy chairs. On the mantle, um, we have displayed these little pieces of wallpaper. We actually found these behind our radiators and this was the wallpaper that was originally in this room. We just found this recently and we are planning to replicate this wallpaper and carry it throughout the room um, just because we love the idea of kind of staying true to the original homeowner's intent of this house. We have a beautiful piece of artwork from my good friend, Samantha McCurdy. This is one of her pieces. We have some books. This um, is actually one of my uh, sketches from college in life drawing class. We have many curiosities on these bookshelves. We have a little book of Picasso. We have um, a... a Beautiful photo of our wedding day here also. We have some books that I've been collecting over the years. Um, some things my husband has found also. He's a big fisherman, so he's always on the beach. So we have this driftwood here. Um, these little ashtrays you'll see throughout the home. These are actually frequently gifted to me by friends because they're little like Moroccan shoes. And I think they were once used for like one single cigarette ashtray, which I feel like is very glamorous, even though we don't smoke. So these chairs actually came from my grandparents. They have um, a condo on the beach and these were part of the house when they bought it. And then they ended up being gifted to us after they got passed around a little bit. 
and I absolutely love them. Um, we just put these shearling furs on them to make them like a little bit cozier. But as you'll see throughout the house, we have a lot of like chinoiserie, Asian art vibes. So I feel like these were a perfect fit. So this panel, actually my mother found in a vintage store and it ended up being the perfect kind of key piece for this room. We really wanted something larger in format to take up all of this space. And we love the colors. I love gold and brass accents. And the green was like such a beautiful pop. We had al always kind of been drawn to green. So this piece actually informed the sofa we would get. And we did go with a green leather sofa, which we absolutely love just because it's a little bit different, but feels very true to our style. So these quilts, again, are um, you'll see throughout the house. These are all made in Jaipur and they're traditional block printed quilts. And I just absolutely love them because they're so cozy. Um, and we actually have some blocks too that I can show you. But if you don't know much about block prints, each color has its own hand carved wooden block. So these are truly a labor of love and just something I love to decorate with. This pitchfork is something my mother found. I believe it's hand carved and Amish and I've never had to use it, but um, I imagine one day it would be a good way to like shuffle an unwanted guest out of the house. So this area is my daughter's play area. Her little Vespa is something she just got for Christmas and it has not touched wheels outside yet. She really just uses it to go around the house and it has a music feature and everything. So this is something she loves. Um, she has some cool little things here, things that I found in India for her. And this awesome, um, I believe these are called water puppets. This is from a good friend of mine that found it in a vintage store. Uh, these are the wooden blocks. I had mentioned before, this is actually what they use to make the traditional block prints. So each color that you see in a block print has one of these hand carved blocks. This is her designated spot. Uh, we keep all of her craft things kind of in one area because she loves to explore that. But really down here, we're kind of trying to, uh, now that she's a little bit older, she's five, we're trying to get her to have most of her playthings in her room and then just a few curated, really special pieces down here. These chairs I actually found on Facebook Marketplace, but I think they're just so sweet. They're all hand-painted. Um, my daughter has been adding some of her own painting to them, but they're really sweet. They're just her size, and I fell in love with those. This rocking horse I actually bought in a vintage store before my daughter was born, and she uses this all the time. She actually likes to stand on it while she's, you know, playing, and it's so funny. I have all this compilation of video of her standing up on here and doing tricks off of it <laughs> since she was like three years old. So the hardwood floors in here are original to the house. Um, they are like faded in some spots over time and initially when we bought the house we thought we would refinish them but I actually love the warmth that it brings into every room. So we haven't touched them yet and I just think they're warm and vibrant and really beautiful. So when we first bought the house, it definitely needed some help getting back to its original roots. The owners before us had painted over wallpaper, they had put a lot of modern light fixtures in, they had even tiled over carpet. So little by little over the last 10 years, we've really been kind of stripping the house down and getting back to its original original roots and its original tone. So we've really tried to stay true to the architecture of the house. So as soon as we walked into the house, the kitchen was the first thing that we wanted to get to, but it actually took us until 2021 to tackle the kitchen project. But the really interesting thing about this house is Every project that we've started, we've uncovered a little bit of the original intent. And the most interesting thing that I'll show you when we look 
through more of the rooms, but we've had an idea in our mind about what we wanted to do and the design that we had planned. And then once we uncover a little bit, we find that some part of our design that we had in mind is actually part of the original plan of the house. Something I love about the home is that my home office is um, right behind these doors into the living room. So come with me and I will show you. I love that I'm able to sit here at my desk and still view the living room. So if my daughter's out there playing or my husband's in the living room relaxing, I can still feel like I'm part of the fun, but I'm on my laptop doing work. <laughs> Um, this is one room in the house where I can really let my creativity be wild and I can make a total mess in here and then close the doors and it doesn't bother anybody. Um, so typically this room is just an explosion of creativity. Um, I have everything I'm working on on my shelves as well as things that inspire me. Um, these are some of the shoes that I've designed and some um, fan art that we have here that I absolutely love. Uh, this here is actually from our factory when they silk screen our logo in our shoes. Um, just how you see it here and they gave this screen to me and it's one of my most prized possessions. I absolutely love it. Uh, the artwork at the top came out of my grandmother's home and it was always something I really loved in her house and it just I feel like really pulls everything together here in the office. And then I just have some really fun things, some accolades I'm proud of, and some things that just give me a lot of inspiration. This rug is absolutely amazing. I love the blue in it, and I also love the pink. This is actually my favorite color, is like a dusty rose, and that is our brand color also for Lonnie. This rug was given to me on loan from one of my best, best friends. It was her grandparents, and I've had it in here for about 10 years, and I hope she never asked for it back. <laughs> so when we bought the home, I actually moved right after we bought the house. I moved to San Francisco for two years, so my husband and I had a long-distance engagement, and he was in the house um, making improvements. So I always say he notebooked me. He added central air, refinished the upstairs, this was one of the pieces he bought for me while I was gone and he just knew I would absolutely fall in love with it. I already had this beautiful Lucite chair that I had gotten at a flea market in this room. Um, I knew it would be the office. So if you see the chandelier actually has a Lucite ball at the top which ties into the Lucite desk chair. This desk is, I would call it vintage. I think it's actually Bombay Company from the 90s, but I, um, before I was a designer, I was a waitress for years, and one of my favorite regular customers actually trash-picked this and refinished the whole thing for me, so I absolutely love it. It will never leave this room. It's perfect for everything I need, and I just love that special gesture. It was so sweet and so kind, so I absolutely love this desk. Um, just recently, I found this kind of quirky piece, but I absolutely love the mix of colors here. Um, I'd love to know more about this piece, actually. Right now, I don't know anything, but I think it's just so fun, and I love the colors. The panels on the wall, I believe I got at a vintage store, and they uh, you know, fell in with the chinoiserie vibe. I think they've moved around the house several times, but this is their final landing place, and I love how they play off of the wall color, too. This wall color is called Peachy Beige, and um, it just reminds me of my brand, and it's one of my favorite colors. I absolutely love it. Follow me this way, and I will take you to the dining room. Here we are in the dining room. This was another room that completely sold us on the house. We love the bay window here. We love the tall ceilings. When we first walked into the house, this room was painted like a dark burgundy and it was painted over wallpaper. So we had a lot of stripping and uh, 
you know, paring down to do in this room, but now it really just feels absolutely perfect. We love how many people can fit at this dining room table. We love the original features like this china cabinet. So the blue willow is something that I just keep getting gifted. You know, when you have that one thing that you love, then your family just goes out and showers you with it. So that's really special. I love so many of these pieces. Um, some of these teapots and things have been um, from both sets of my grandmothers. They had very similar tastes. So I feel like the things that I've acquired from both of them really fit with the era of this house and it reminds me of them. Um, this candelabra always comes out at Christmas time and it's just so fun and cool. This golden tray is actually one of a set of six that was also from my grandparents. We also have these little fun spoons and forks that a girlfriend of mine gifted me from Thailand and these always come out at tea time. My daughter has her little realistic tea set in here as well. These two tall back chairs, we actually bought the chairs right after we bought the house and originally they were like a yellow, very raggedy upholstery. So this was my Christmas present this year from my mother. She got them reupholstered for me and I just absolutely love how they turned out. We use a local upholsterer named Louise who's absolutely incredible. And I just love the fun mix of texture that it brings to the room. Over here we have this lovely bar cart that I found in a vintage shop and just fell in love with it. We had had something similar here but I feel like it really ties everything together with the golden accents. I love this little rail on it. Um, and above the bar cart, we have one of my favorite portraits. Um, so around the house, you'll see we have quite a few portraits. These are done by my great uncle. His name was Napoleon, and he was a wonderful artist. He studied at PAFA in Philadelphia, and we're lucky enough to have quite a few of his pieces that we absolutely loved. So my... Um, he passed away a couple years ago and my aunt has gifted us his pieces. So we actually use this portrait to find our wall paint color here. So typically I change the place settings seasonally, but I had this piece um, of block printed silk from India and I absolutely love this print. It reminds me of like a 70s retro floral and it has that raw silk feel and I thought just with the brown chairs it really brought in this very cool vibe here. So um, I love just having draped fabrics around the house. You'll see this brass teapot is just one of my favorite pieces. It's so fun and I felt it deserved its centerpiece moment here. So this um, banquette here was from my mother. She gave it to us a couple of years ago. These are little elephant salt and pepper shakers that are made in India that a friend, a family friend actually gave to my mother and I stole them from her a couple of years ago. I think they're just so sweet. These sconces were from Goodwill. I bought them and I thought they were real brass and tried to polish them up and the finish came off. So I rub and buff them back to their bronze beauty stage now. <laughs> when we host, we go anywhere between going all out and keeping it really casual. One of my favorite events that we host every year is our New Year's Eve sushi party and we just have neighbors and our other family friends over and the kids go wild in the living room having a dance party and we just order a ton of sushi and spread it all out on the table and it's so much fun. When we entertain, we typically have wine on this table, so that's why it's kind of set up with wine glasses and everything. Um, and we have these wonderful little finds here. This is actually a piece of silk art that I bought outside of uh, the Amber Fort in Jaipur. And this little piece I found at the Gem Palace in Jaipur. And then I believe my mother 
thrifted these this little set and gave this to me a couple Christmases ago but I absolutely just love how the gold details shine against this darker paint color when I picked up that little cabinet in the office just recently um, the woman that I bought it from was selling all of her great aunt's items her great aunt had just died so she actually gifted me some of this artwork that's in the room and it was just absolutely perfect I couldn't say no and she was so sweet and generous so now that has its little place here also one other fun detail in this room is actually um, the drapery this is all Belgian linen um, the same uncle that I mentioned who was the portrait artist he also owned a sampler brand so he used to print needlepoint samplers back in the 50s and uh, when he passed away, we found bolts and bolts of this original Belgian linen. So I've been repurposing it to the best of my ability. It's absolutely beautiful. And I had these curtains made a couple of years ago. I started designing shoes back in 2009 while I was still in college. Um, I went to school for fashion design, but I was just drawn to accessories from my first experience working with them. I loved, you know, heel shapes and leather qualities and all the different um, things that you could do to design a shoe or a bag. I just instantly fell in love. So I worked in the corporate world for about nine years before I started my own brand. Um, and now with my brand, we manufacture everything in female founded and family owned factories in India. So we do a lot of hand embellishment and a lot of block print work and we mix a lot of patterns and textures and colors. And I feel like even that informs the decor of the home too. So before I show you the rest of the house, I'd love to show you the sunroom. This is the room where my family and I spend most of our time. So here in the sunroom, um, we have a lot of these original windows which really just sold us on the house. This was a room that we absolutely fell in love with when we first bought the home. When we first saw it, it was carpeted and we kept a dining table in here for quite a few years and we only just recently redid this room. So one of the funny stories is when my husband and I were planning this little renovation, we were both definitely set that we should have a checker floor. So we had been sending each other inspiration about the floor. Originally, we were going to tile. And when it came time for us to renovate, we had already bought the materials and everything. And underneath the carpet and the subfloor was actually the original checkered floor. So that's just one of the other stories in this house. It seems like every time we strip away what the previous owners have done and we get down to what the original owners had done, it's something similar that we already had in mind for the house. So just love that story. We really wanted to be able to kind of cozy up in here. So we have our little electric fireplace, but it just makes this room at night very vibey and very cozy and we absolutely love it. Previously, when we had the larger table in here, my husband and I were always like gunning about who would get the chaise. So it's so nice now that my daughter, my husband and I can all be in here relaxing, playing games, reading a book. We usually have you know, music on in here and it's just such a nice relaxing space. I do not have a green thumb. All of these plants are cared for by my husband. He is the plant daddy of the family. He can really bring anything back to life. This fig tree, one of my friends was putting in the trash because she thought it was dead. So we brought it here to rehab it and it's been here ever since and it is like totally thriving in this location. But the plants just love it in here. This room gets so much natural light and my husband is amazing at taking care of all of them. So again, like my vibe is just very eclectic. So we have this olive green chaise that we've actually had since we first started living together, but I've draped it with some textiles again from India and some beautiful Moroccan pillows and things. 
Um, we love decorating with these, you know, shearlings just for the cozy vibe. I recently just found this coffee table and this is actually, the top comes off like a tray, which is so cool. I have yet to use it for entertaining, but I think it could be so cool to do something with that. The black squiggly mirror, as I mentioned, we try to, you know, work in a little bit of modern touches. Um, and that is one of them I just recently got, which I love. The house smell is always very ambery. We love, you know, Palo Santo scents. We love the smell of incense. We have incense matches kind of everywhere throughout the house, but usually anything warming. This is a tobacco and bergamot, but I love anything with like an amber or vanilla undertone. So in the sunroom, we were very fortunate that we have these radiators. These are actually radiators flanking the sides of the room. Um, so we didn't have to insulate this room at all. However, when we were picking out the flooring, we had both, my husband and I had both wanted to do tile. And if we were going to do tile, we realized it would change the whole feeling of the room and we would probably have to heat it um, under floor, which added a couple thousand dollars to the cost. So we actually went with cork tile. And with the cork, it's actually geo, it's, it's uh, thermoregulating. So we didn't have to add any underfloor heating with the cork tile. And we absolutely love the look. It's very similar to the original floors that were in this sunroom. And it looks like wood. It feels earthy, but it also feels a bit modern and cool. We absolutely love that this room is just the perfect room to snuggle up together with a book and enjoy the snow day that we were fortunate to get yesterday. It just feels so warm and inviting in here. So now I would love to take you to my second favorite room of the house, which is the kitchen. One thing I love about this kitchen is the double action door. We don't use it very often, but it's such a cool feature of the home. We just renovated this kitchen in 2021, and it had been one of the first things on our priority list, but it was one of the last things we got to. However, I'm just so thrilled about how it turned out. We were really able to get everything that we wanted out of this space. We had a large island before, but it just took up so much room. So we feel like adding the peninsula or transitioning it to a peninsula just allows us to all have a place to sit down and enjoy a meal. Everyone's always congregating in the kitchen, so it feels great to be able to have enough space for everybody. This mirror is something I've just had around forever. Originally, we had planned for a shelf here, but I just love mirrors in the home. I feel like it elongates everything and it just adds another feature. So it's really fun to have this mirror here. We always have fresh fruit in the kitchen. I love having a bowl of citrus or oranges out. The footprint of the kitchen was relatively small, but we really wanted to try to maximize the height. So we chose to have this beadboard going all the way up. It feels like what would originally be in the home. We changed the placement of the refrigerator also and did this counter depth French door refrigerator. We waited almost 20 months for this refrigerator to come in because it was post COVID time. So we lived out of a mini fridge for over a year and we're so thankful to have this. One thing that the home didn't originally have is a pantry. So I definitely wanted to make sure that when we redesigned this kitchen that we had a great big pantry space. We actually are able to have some of our appliances in here too because we added power in the back. So it's just the perfect place to put everything and I absolutely love the height. We chose to do a wood finish here so it almost felt like a piece of furniture rather than just being more cabinets. So we were really fortunate that the exact color that we had in mind for this cabinet was available. So these um, olive cabinets came in this color from the manufacturer. And I just wanted to create again, like almost a 
the idea of height and the idea of just being surrounded by the built-ins. So we did choose to paint the wall the same color. My contractor thought I was crazy, but I just absolutely love the effect and I'm so glad that we did it. So over here, we added this shelf with, again, another mirror just to give it height. Um, we loved having these sconces in the original design. And on this shelf, we have some of my favorite pieces from a ceramicist local to Philadelphia. Her name is Peyton and she has cloud nine clay. So the stool was my mother's. These beautiful trays with, again, the oranges. I actually thrifted them in Florida. We were uh, decorating a house down there, but I knew that they just belonged in this kitchen. So I brought them home. Um, originally, there was a big old radiator here. And when we did the renovation, I found these radiators that are made in Europe that I absolutely love. So still keeps this room very toasty, but it's more of a streamlined effect. And we had always wanted a place to just plop things down. So my handbag is always in this basket and then our keys and sunglasses usually get thrown on the table. So these leather stools, we had been looking for something for this space for a long time, and we actually did originally have these beautiful solid wood swivel stools, and one day my daughter and I were sitting on one, she was on my lap, and we heard a big crack and we both hit the floor. So those had to be replaced, and we found these beautiful, um, these are actually Target, and I just love the mix of texture that they bring to this room. Again, the warmth coming in from the wood and the leather texture, and they're just great. They wipe clean easily. They're not too precious, and we love them. Definitely my style is eclectic, so I kind of love everything. Um, I do love modern design, but we've infused it just in very small ways into this house um, so that it feels right and the feeling that I want someone to have when they walk into this house is almost um, how you feel when you walk into your grandparents are like a very well-traveled older couple where they have little treasures from their travels and little things that they were you know picked up or gifted I love that eclectic feel um, I my husband and I love to travel and I travel to India often for work so I'm always picking up little pieces and splashes of color and interest to add to the home. So from here, I would love to show you the bedrooms. We have a few on the second floor, but we also have a guest suite in the downstairs, and I'd love to show you that next. This is the guest room. We love that it's on the first floor because our, our bedrooms are upstairs, so it's really nice for the guests to feel like they have their own space. We have a bed in here that is uh, was originally my great great grandfather's and we're so lucky to have it we haven't had to refinish it at all but it's just such an amazing piece with this curved footbed and the ornate headboard and it's just the perfect piece for this room we also have another portrait that was done by my uncle we have a big debate in our family about who it is a portrait of nobody knows but it's really beautiful and again we let this portrait kind of inform the color of the room. In this room, we chose to paint the, the trim and the molding the same color as the walls, just to make it very serene and just a very calm, relaxing place to be a guest. So just a little velvet bench. Typically, this room ends up being a little bit of our changing space too because we don't have a coat closet. So typically that's where my husband's sitting to put on his work boots and my daughter's getting dressed. Also on the bed we have a kantha quilt. These are also something I always try to pick up when we're in India. These are all made from recycled cotton saris. So they're typically either patchworked like this one. They're typically, you know, a mix of fabrics and they're different on one side from the other side. They're actually made from layers and layers of cotton. So as they get worn, they actually wear away to the and sometimes reveal a pattern that's underneath what you see on the top. So typically when someone's staying with us for the evening, I try to have everything cleaned out. I get all of our personal items out of here so it can just be their space. I always make sure the 
bed is a good reflection of what season we're in. So, you know, if it's holiday time, we'll have a little bit different color and pattern happening. Typically try to have fresh flowers or some sort of foliage in here. And I'll put towels in this basket at the foot of their bed so they feel like they have everything they need in this room. This beautiful peacock chair is something that my mother found for us. She's a big, you know, thrifter, antiquer, everything. She gifted this to us a couple of years ago and it has floated around the house quite a bit. For a while it was in the sunroom, but I think this spot just makes it perfect. So the guests have a couple different options of where to sit and make themselves comfortable in this room. So let's head upstairs and I will show you the primary bedroom and my daughter's room. So this is Vivi's room, my daughter. And this room is just so joy inducing. We all love spending time in here. We've made it really special for her. One of my best friends is a print designer. She actually made this wallpaper custom for Vivi. So that's really special. She has this antique piece here that feels like the rest of the home, but also feels very girly and feminine and fun. This mirror was one of the first things I bought for her nursery when she was a baby. I just absolutely love the detail of it. She also has her beautiful own uh, Kantha quilt here. This was a gift from one of my vendors in India. So pretty. Uh, her bed is actually, it was my bed at one point when I was younger and I love how the color that I chose to paint it when I was younger even works with the color of the wallpaper now. So that was something really cool that we could hold on to. She has this little tent area here where she spends a lot of time reading. This beautiful pillow was made by one of my friends, Allie. She has a very cool company called Femworld and she actually hand tufts all these pillows, which is so amazing. We love that her bedspread is like a nod to, you know, vintage chenille. We always have birds playing in this room because it feels like it makes the wallpaper really come alive. It plays all day. <laughs> it's just so comforting. It's actually, it's her alarm. So when she wakes up, you know, she has like a white noise machine that she sleeps with overnight. And when she wakes up, her alarm is the birdies. We call them the birdies. But I just let them play all day because I feel like it's, it's so comforting and nice. She's five and she talks about like you know in she talks about painting the walls purple and having like a unicorn room so i think we're probably a couple years away for her to have her own full-on renovation <laughs> we one of my favorite pieces in this room is um this disco unicorn head that my friend ali made who has the company called femworld she did this for her birthday and it's just so epically amazing. When the sun comes up in the morning and we open up her shades at a certain time of the year, the light hits it perfectly and it just cascades light all over the room. It's so beautiful and so special. I really think putting your own imprint somewhere is something that makes a home come alive. I see so many houses that maybe look cookie cutter or the same or you know people being afraid to explore color or texture or pattern and i really think if you love something and you want it in your home just don't be afraid to explore that all right let me show you the primary bedroom next come with me so this is our room one of the first pieces we bought for this house before we even had settlement on this home was this brass bed and again we were very optimistic when we bought this bed i think we put it in storage for a couple months and it had gotten completely patinaed so it took us about 12 hours and several power tools to get it to this shine but we absolutely love it um, and it's just so fun so this piece really informed the overall vibe of the room I partnered with fellow Homeworthy alum and dear friend of mine, Michelle Gage, to decorate this room. It was part of a one room challenge quite a few years ago. And we had so much fun collaborating on this space. Something that we had fallen in love with was this wallpaper. 
and it has like a metallic sheen with this beautiful purpley gray. So that was one of the second pieces that we put in this room that we absolutely love. This quilt is from India. This isn't a vintage kantha. This is like a newer kantha. So this is something that's printed um, with new fabric, but it is also hand stitched and hand finished. These pillows I bought in India also, they're silk and they're hand block printed. And I just love the checker pattern on this one. And these have like a subtle metallic um, printing in there also. So they just feel really eclectic and I'm fortunate my husband lets me decorate with so many feminine details because I really love it. The rug in here was from my grandmother. She had bought this when she was redoing her house many, many years ago and um, when she moved into, you know, um, an assisted living, she wanted me to have this rug and I'm so thankful because it really pulls everything together in this room. I love that there's black, but then there's also this purple. There's the robin's egg blue, which we've tried to kind of enhance by some little details in here. This wall is one of my favorite things. It's just a little compilation of things that are really special to us. So we have our wedding picture here and then some 3D art, some little Turkish mirrors. Isn't she cute? So when Michelle Gage and I were collaborating on this room for the one room challenge, when we went to take the photos, she had her own little blue bench and it was so cute, but she would not leave it with me. So I think my mom actually thrifted this piece and then we got it reupholstered to look like Michelle's piece because I had loved her so much. This piece, which serves as my husband's wardrobe, was really special. This is a little secretary. My husband has his own point of view and input, but typically even if when we start a project, we kind of bump heads a little bit about the initial idea. I think he always really trusts me to execute it. And then once it's done, he'll say, oh my gosh, you did such an amazing job. So he, it's not, it's not that I have complete free range, but he does trust my overall point of view, which is very helpful. Initially, my daughter's room was the primary bedroom and she had access, that room had access to this dormer, but we decided that this should be the primary bedroom because of the placement of light. It was also closer to the bathroom. So one of the first things we did was open up this doorway so that I could have more of a dressing room space. And upon doing that, we found out that whenever they did build the upstairs, this was the original intent of the house. So this room was originally part of the primary bedroom. So this coat, which I usually have hanging here just because I love the colors. This is something that we um, designed exclusively for anthropology. And again, it's India block printed. It has actually a floral quilted texture. And I was wearing this around the house yesterday because I was so cold. It was 20 degrees um, and I just love the color there. These cupboards are something that we added. My mother found these in a vintage store in Cape May, New Jersey, and my husband brought them up the steps all by himself, but they really look like they belong here and they allow me to have all of my uh, closet kind of hidden away which is great because it can get really out of control. This dress form was my great, great grandmother's. She was a dressmaker and um, one of my great aunts kept this around forever. She's not in the best of shape, but she's so beautiful and I absolutely love her as a piece in this room. This nude is another one that my great uncle did. I believe this was part of one of his studio studies. I call it the tushy because it's just so cute. The use of color and light there and again the checker floor. It's just so cool. It's one of my favorite pieces. So on the table we have some vintage uh, shoe stretchers. We have my grandmother's little sewing kit that's in this beautiful um, little pail here. This is all of my jewelry. And then I have this chair I actually got down the street at an estate sale and I absolutely love the detailing here. 
She probably needs to be reupholstered, but I love the original fabric, so for now I'm leaving her as she is. This dresser is another item that my husband bought when I was living across the country and he knew that I would love it and he was totally right. So this is where I do my makeup every day. This is one of our leather train cases that we make again in India and that has all of my makeup in it. So it's nice that it can just make this space really tidy. The word home means to me somewhere where you're comfortable and you really feel like you can be your authentic self. Be sure to visit our website, homeworthy.com, to discover amazing furniture, art, accessories, and more, all handpicked by our editors to help transform your house into a home. All of the items are inspired by the episodes you see here on Homeworthy. Enjoy! Thanks for watching. Go to homeworthy.com for exclusive content and shopping guides.